Well, Katie, I just want to update you on a little bit of breaking news. You watched in the last hour as President Biden emerged from that very, very long phone call with Prime Minister Netanyahu of Israel. The president visibly enraged as he described the atrocities committed in this country. Just in the last couple of minutes, we've got the readout from the Israeli side of that phone call, and it gives a little bit of an insight into why the president felt so strongly. The Israeli prime minister told President Biden that what happened on Saturday was barbarism that has not been seen since the Holocaust. He talked about hundreds of people were slaughtered. And Katie, for the first time, an Israeli official saying on the record that women were raped as part of this attack. It's been very widely reported, but this is the first time officially it's being said by an Israeli official. He talks about Israeli soldiers being beheaded after they were killed by these Hamas militants. And he continues these comparisons to the Holocaust. Katie, we got a glimpse of some of what the prime minister was talking about earlier today. The Israeli military took us to a kibbutz. It's called Kafar Aza. It's about half a mile from the Gaza border. It is one of those communities that was overrun in the early hours of Saturday morning. We saw the breach in the fence through which these Hamas terrorists poured. And we saw nearly unbelievable scenes in what, at another time, would be a sort of pleasant rural village. Um, we went house by house and we saw blood everywhere. We saw some houses had been burned out completely with their inhabitants inside. This is a community that was 700 people, but it felt like every couple of minutes when we were there today, even four days after the attack, Israeli forces seemed to be finding new bodies inside of these houses. It is very possible of this community of 700 people, a very, very significant proportion have lost their lives. Others may be held hostage inside of Gaza. One of the most striking scenes, we walked past the kind of village kindergarten, which somehow had been spared the gunfire. It wasn't full of the bullet holes that we saw on other buildings. But when you turned and you were facing the lawn of this kindergarten, there were bodies of these Hamas fighters rotting in the sun, lying there with rigor mortis. Uh, just an unspeakable scene. Uh, and the sense we have from the Israeli military, from the reporting we've done, from the images coming out, is that that scene has been replayed over and over again at these different kibbutzim, these towns, at that music festival where it appears that 260 people have died. So if the President Biden was briefed on even a fraction of what we saw today, you get a sense why the president of the United States was so emotional when he spoke at the White House earlier. Okay. And, and Raf, it is remarkable that, that you're able to, to talk about it um, so calmly, uh, given what you saw today, frankly. I, I don't think I could have taken it. Uh, Raf Sanchez, thank you very much for, for staying up with us tonight. We appreciate it.